Hello, Brad here. I hope you're well. Sending lots of love to you. Today we are going to go through the writing and production process of Would You off our album Cherry Blossom, which is out now. We're going to start off with the voice note from when it was originally written. It sounds like this, very horrible. It's a fly in it. So I had the uh, the Rhodes, which was the piano progression that I started off with, which was this. And then I think the first thing I wrote was the guitar riff, which kind of set the tone of the whole song, which was this. The whole song was written over that loop at the beginning. Now the production that you hear on it now, it took a while to get there and we're going to go through that. But first I want to go through kind of like the lyrics and, and the actual songwriting. Because I think for me it tends to be easier to kind of write the song before you really, really deep dive on the production. So you know that the song stands up and I think everyone says this so it's very cliche but you want the song to stand up if you just play it on a piano or a guitar. It's kind of like quite a, an insecure, vulnerable song, which I think everyone has, and everyone has those moments. And for me, and I know a lot of the other boys, writing about it tends to be the best thing, and I think it's very cathartic. So the writing was done, like I say, all around the piano loop. And melodically, I kind of wanted it to build, so the verse is very spacey and open, as is the pre. And then you drop down into this quite choppy melody over the uh, chorus which again like didn't sound how it sounds when you hear it on the album because it didn't like the pianos pulled out and the production and all these other elements kind of come in but originally it was just kind of like this just the vocal and the piano but it was interesting because uh what i think's fun about writing the song without all the production is you find that the lyrics and the sentiment and the feeling of the song really then influence where you go with the production so you kind of don't know where it's going to go until the song's written and then you want the production to prop up the sentiment of the song and like enhance all of those statements like the if I walked out the door would you even notice I'm gone it's quite a vulnerable thing to say so it's like okay how's the production going to really like amplify that and make that hit as hard as possible I mean going from the verse You've got these, like a little Juno and a little sub bass arpeggiating through. She's vibey. And then we just go down to a kick in the verses. There was some cool bits that we added that isn't in this session because there was about 50 million thousand sessions, which nearly broke me. But we added some things uh, like kind of like reverse sweeps and reverse vocals and to kind of like build up the tension in the verses. Chorus Pride was very, very subtle. You got the drums, which basically kick and snare, and then this low, subby bass that makes me go, ooh! And then also wanted to make the vocal kind of sound abrasive and as weird as possible, really. So. You've got all these, just stack, stack, stacks, and then um, like kind of these phasing whispers, these that sound like a psychopath, but they do sound good in there. So that's just kind of spinning around. There's a little rundown that I love here. I like that rundown a lot, that was fun. It's nice trying to find like little moments that just move and like build with it, it, the second verse, kind of like adding those little earworms and things that kind of really pe keep people engaged and keep the song moving forward, really. Because I think the tempo that it is, it could quite easily kind of like plod. So it's about making it feel vibey. And genuinely, I'm a massive fan of like. Drive, which is an amazing film, which I'm sure hopefully you've seen. If you haven't, go and watch Drive. But like that kind of imagery of how Drive's very kind of late night dark, that is the kind of like images that I wanted the production to kind of evoke in people when you listen to it. That kind of like late night driving song. <laughs> 
the second chorus, you got some. It kind of beefs up again. I think you have more, brought in more vocal stacks. I did. There they are. Um, so there's like more falsetto stacks, and then you've got these kind of guitar stabs on the front of the chorus, which is really nice. <laughs> Really nice fill. Well, it's very simple fill, but little drum bit comes in there. Just super simple. Here we go. Like, there's not loads going on because I think it's just about letting the lyrics and the vocal kind of do the talking and supporting the whole sentiment of the song. Um, and I think that is like one thing that we've tried to do on throughout the whole album is like not overcrowd stuff too much and just kind of like see how little you can use and it still found sound as, as full as possible. So every element that's in the track really fights to be there and has kind of earned its place to be there. And if it doesn't enhance, then we just pull it out. So everything that's in there, like we've kind of thought and overthought and gone, okay, yeah, this really, really works. Middle eight was the last thing to be added, so the whole song was kind of written and then tried a load of different middle eights, tried like more guitar -y stuff, tried uh, kind of break away from the chords, but ended up doing this kind of repetitive melody that's got a uh, like a vocoder thing underneath it. And then we go into the last chorus, and the last chorus like really ramps up, and this is where it's like at the peak, and the the vocal comes in, the lead vocal comes in, uh, up the octave, octave. That's weird. The lead vocal comes in up the octave, um, and that kind of feels like the real culmination of the song in this last chorus. And then we see out the rest of the tune, just driving, just driving away. <laughs> and that's pretty much it that's like the kind of rundown of of would you I mean there's a couple of things missing that we added very very last minute like whilst we were going into mix super happy with it uh, and super happy with how the reaction has been amongst you guys thank you very very much for supporting it and supporting the album hope this has been interesting um, and it's been really interesting recently to see especially because we've been locked inside all the time but just to kind of be looking at how creative you guys are being uh, and I see so many like young writers, young singers, creatives, people designing merch and like there's so many creative minds in our fan base and it's really really inspiring to see so keep doing your thing. Any young producers watching keep doing your thing because I mean I'm nowhere near where I want to be and you've got to continue to have that drive um, and always push yourself and I listen back to this production and I'm like there's so many things I would do and this is done maybe like a year ago and even now, like in that year I try and push myself all the time so yeah just shout out to all the young creatives in the fan base keep doing your thing um, and we'll see you on tour very very soon lots of love peace